Ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng ilang mga problems involving uh, radical equations. So let's start with problem number one. So problem number one, we have square root of x minus 9 equal to 2. So ang um, basic rule ng pagsagot ng ra um, radical equation is to always isolate the radical expression. So ang gagawin natin is to add 9 on both sides. So we'll have square root of x is equal to 11. At para ma-cancel natin yung square root, we need to take the square of both sides. So we'll have x equal to 11 squared is 121. So ibig sabihin, ang ating value ng x is equal to 121. At kapag chinect natin kasi, tandaan nyo na minsan yung value ng x na makukuha natin kahit tama yung algebra steps natin, it's not going to um, um, give you the correct value of x. Kaya check natin kung yung ating solution na 121 ay pasok sa ating equation. So, square root of 121, which is x, minus 9 equal to 2. So, kumpares siyang equal to 2 yung both sides, tama yung inyong equation. So, square root of 121 is 11, minus 9 equal to 2, and 11 minus 9 is equal to 2. So, tama yung ating solution para sa problem number 1. So, tandaan nyo na every time you're working on radical e equation, check nyo muna kung yung uh, x value na makukuha nyo ay uh, solution ng uh, equation. So, ngayon, let's try answering problem number 3. Kasi yung numbering ko dito sa uh, mga problems natin are just odd numbers. We have x minus 7 equal to 2 squared of x plus 1. And to solve this equation, kailangan nating tanggalin si uh, radical symbol. And to do that, we're going to take the square of both sides. Now, yung ating uh, um, left side, kailangan natin siyang i-expand. X minus 7. X minus 7. At yung ating uh, other side would be 2 squared times square root of x plus 1 squared. So, yung ating product ng binomial would be x squared minus 7x minus 7x plus 49 equal to 4. At ang square ng square root will cancel out, will give us x plus 1. So, by simplifying our equation, we'll have x squared minus 14x plus 49 equal to 4x plus 4. So, ang susunod nating uh, um, work would be to equate this to 0 at magkakaroon tayo ng quadratic equation na ipa-factor natin para masolve yung solution. So, para mag-equate siya sa 0, we will minus 4 here, minus 4 on this side, at meron tayong minus 4x and minus 4x on this side para mag-equal to, to 0 and then this will also equal to 0. So ngayon, meron na tayong equation equal to 0 para masolve natin yung solution. And our equation will be x squared minus 14, negative 14 minus 4 is negative 18x. And 49 minus 4 is going to be 45. So, ang mangyayari ngayon sa second step would be to solve for the quadratic. And to solve for the quadratic, pwede tayo mag-factor, pwede tayo gumamit ng quadratic formula or completing the square. So, since this is a factorable quadratic equation, we know na yung factors ng 45 that will give you 0 when you add them up would be, so since both of them are positive, at kailangan negative siya, this will be both negative at ang... Uh, uh, Factors ng 45 that will give you negative 18 would be uh, 3 times 15. So you'll have 3 and 15 because 3 times 15 is 45 and negative 3 minus 15 is negative 18. So ito yung ating factors. So using the zero product property, we'll have x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 15. Kasi um, i-equate natin siya sa zero. Pakita ko lang. So, ang nangyari dyan is x minus 3 equal to 0, x minus 15 is equal to 0, and then you add 3 on both sides, kaya positive 3 at 15. Pero kailangan natin i-verify kung alin dito yung solution ng ating equation kasi hindi 
isa dito ay hindi tutugma dun sa ating equation. So, to check, we have x minus 7 equal to 2 squared of x plus 1, which is the original equation. Kung i-check natin siya sa 3, makapapansin natin na 3 minus 7 equals 2 times 3 plus 1, which is 2 times square root of 4. And 3 minus 7 is negative 4. So, mapapansin nyo na ito ay 2 times 2, and this is negative 4. So, this one will not work for x equal to 3. So, hindi siya solution. So, let's check for 15. We'll have x minus 7 equals 2 times x plus 1. So, yung x natin magiging, try natin sa 15, minus 7 equals 2 times uh, 15 plus 1, which is 2 times 16, which is equal to 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. And we know that 15 minus 7 is equal to 8. So therefore, x equal to 15 yung solution ng ating um, radical equation. So, lagi yung tandaan na hindi lahat ng values ng x natin ay pwedeng tumugma sa solution or sa equation natin. So, yan yung sagot sa problem number 3. Now, let's answer problem number 5. So, sa number 5, we'll have x equal to square root of x plus 7 plus 5. Now, itong equation naman na ito, hindi natin siya kaagad-agad pwedeng square yung both sides kasi meron tayong constant with the radical expression. So what we're going to do is to minus 5 on both sides. So we'll have x minus 5 equal to x plus 7. Uh, dito natin ngayon is a square yung both sides. So we expand natin sa x minus 5. So we'll have x minus 5 times x minus 5. At makakancel si square root. So meron lang tayong x plus 7. So, magkakaroon ulit tayo ng quadratic equation. So, we'll have x squared minus 10x plus 25. Kasi yan yung expanded form ng ating binomial equal to x plus 7. And just like what we did, we'll subtract x here and then minus 7 here. So, ang magiging um, solution natin, this will equal to 4. We'll have x squared minus 11x and 25 minus 7 is positive 18. So now, kailangan natin mag-isip ng uh, factors ng uh, 18 na magiging equal to negative 11. So since factorable to, yung ating x's should be both negative. So 18 na equal to 11 kapag in natin would be... Uh, um, so we have 6 times 3, 2 times 9, and 18 and 1. So ang uh, papasok dito would be 9 and 2. Because negative 2 times negative 9 is positive 18. And negative 2 plus negative 9 is negative 11. So ang ating solution using zero product property will have x minus 2 equals 0 and x minus 9 equal to 0. So, x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 9. Pero hindi pa natin sure kung ano dito yung ating solution. So, going back to the original equation, which is this. So, we'll have to check it. x plus 7 plus 5. So, kung 2 siya, 2 equals square root of 2 plus 7 plus 5, which is 2 equals... 2 plus 7 is 9, so 3 plus 9. So, alam na natin na hindi siya mag-work. So, hindi siya mag-work sa 2. So, let's try it with 9. So, we'll have x plus, I mean, x equal to x plus 7 plus 5. So, we'll have 9 equal to 9 plus 7 plus 5. 9 equal to 16 plus 5, so 9 equals 4 plus 5, and we know that 4 plus 5 is 9, so that means 
ito yung ating solution sa ating problem number 5. Now, let's try and answer problem number 7. So, number 7, we have cube root of 2x plus 1 um, plus 5 equals 0. So, again, kailangan natin i-isolate yung uh, radical expression. So, we need to subtract 5 on both sides. So, we have cube root of 2x plus 1 equals negative 5. And we know to uh, get rid or cancel the cube, we're going to, or cube root, we're going to take the cube of both cube of both sides. So this cancels out and we'll have 2x plus 1 equal to negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. So we have 2x plus 1 is equal to negative 125. So common mistake is every time, um, or some students would think na positive lagi yung sagot pag meron tayong exponent. So this time, since it's cubed and we have an odd number of factors, we'll have a negative answer as a result. So to solve for x, we'll subtract 1 on both sides. So we'll have 2x equal to negative 1, 26, and then divide by 2. So x is equal to negative. So 126 or half of 126 is 63. So we have x equal to negative 63 for problem number 7. And for the last problem of the day, we'll have number 9. So we'll have square root of x minus 3 plus square root of x plus 5 equals 4. Now, sa pagsagot ng mga radical equation, sometimes may mga problem na sinlali lang ng problem number 1 and sometimes it could be as complicated as problem number 9. So, since dalawa yung ating uh, radicals, so pag natin siya, so every time you have two radicals in one equation, you need to separate it by getting rid of one of the radicals and transferring it to the other side of the equation. So, you have subtract square root of x plus 5 on this side. So this cancels out para meron tayong x minus 3 equal to 4 minus x plus 5. So in this problem, kailangan natin siyang square to get rid of the square root. So let's see if we can get rid of one of the square roots. So dito, madali lang kasi um, yung x minus 3 is inside the radical. So we'll have x minus 3 over here. Now, ang problema natin is yung yung other side kasi kailangan natin siyang i-expand so we'll have 4 minus square root of x plus 5 4 minus square root of x plus 5 so medyo mahaba-haba ito kasi kailangan natin siyang i-foil so we have 4 times 4 which is 16 4 times this is negative x plus 5 and then I'm sorry this is negative 4 uh, square root of x plus 5 and negative 4 square root of x plus 5 at ito, since magkapareha sila alam natin na square root of x plus 5 times square root of x plus 5 is positive x plus 5 kasi matatanggal na yung ating uh, square root kapag ka magkaparehas yung ating uh, radicals so meron tayo ngayon 16 minus 8 square root of x plus 5 plus x plus 5 equal to x minus 3. So, sa part na ito, since kailangan natin siyang equate sa 0, ang gagawin natin is to simplify the expression. So, to simplify this, we can combine like terms. So, pwede natin pagsamahin ito. At meron tayo ngayong x minus 3 equal to 16 plus 5 is equal to... 21 minus 8 square root of x plus 5 plus x. At since kailangan natin siyang i-equate sa 0, tulad ng ginawa natin sa um, other problem, we'll subtract x on both sides and subtract 21 on this side para ma-cancel out or ma-isolate yung ating radical expression, which is this one. So this one is zero so we will end up with negative 24 equal to negative 8 
square root of x plus 5. So since mas simple na yung ating equation, kailangan na lang natin isolve si x. And to solve for x, we'll divide both sides by negative 8. So we'll end up with x plus 5 here, and negative 24 divided by negative 8 is equal to positive 3. And then you take the uh, square of both sides para matanggal natin si square root, and we'll have 9 equals x plus 5 minus 5, and x is equal to 4. So for yung ating solution sa ating radical equation, and to check if ito talaga yung solution natin, so meron tayo ngayong x minus 3 plus square root of x plus 5 equal to 4. So let's see if that is the actual value of x. So we'll have square root of 4 minus 3 plus square root of 4 plus 5 equals 4. And four, square root of 4 minus 3 is equal to square root of 1 plus square root of 9. And 1 plus 3 is 4. So 4 yung solution ng ating radical equation. So yan yung pagsagot ng ating uh, radical equation using algebra.